Hi guys, Sam here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all things budgeting, planning, saving money, and my family's journey to financial freedom. Today I'm going to be going over our paycheck budget for these next two weeks of May 22nd through June 4th, and then I'll be following that up with my cash envelope stuffing. I am going to be trying something different. I did already stuff all of my um, cash dividers for these next two weeks, but I did want to film a video just showing how you can utilize the cash envelope system without using actual cash. I did get a ton of questions on Instagram from people who are not familiar with the cash envelope system and then want to know how they could utilize the same method without having to use physical cash, either because they didn't want to have cash on hand or because they didn't want to give up their credit card rewards. So what I wanted to do was show how they could use the same method and then trial it out for myself and see how that works for these next two weeks. So let me go over my budget paycheck and then we'll get to the stuffing portion. I'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot of my budget so you have a clearer view of what I'm looking at here. So again, this is for May 22nd through June 4th, and we have a total of $2,675 to work with. In my expenses, I have Netflix due for $16, Hulu for $14, our truck payment number three is $220, Mortgage payment number three, $465. Guys, if you're new to my channel, I do split up my big ticket items. Every two weeks, I do set aside $220 for my truck, $465 for my mortgage, and we transfer that to a separate checking account. It sits there and waits until it gets automatically deducted from my mortgage company and from the credit union that my truck is financed through. The SeaWorld Pass here is the last payment. Um, we did get the annual pass last year for my daughter's birthday. And so that's that last payment there. We do have natural gas, that's $55. Homeowners Association is $75. And then pest control is $30. We have someone that comes out and sprays our home. We live in Arizona. This is a must have, that's a non-negotiable. So my expenses come out to $900. And then for my extra savings, for our extra savings, we had to pull from our emergency fund a couple months ago for my husband's deductible for his knee surgery. And so every paycheck, we're just automatically sending $100 back to the emergency fund so that way we can get that back to what it was before we pulled from it. And then we have our health savings account. Mine is 200 because it's for me and our babies and then my husband just himself, so he gets the $100. So our extra savings come out to $400. Extra debt, right now our debt snowball is going towards our truck, so that is $100. And then for our cash envelopes, which for my family are our variable expenses, these are the categories that I'll be stuffing in the cash envelopes today. And so we have groceries for $250, gas $100, household $15, $15 gets me plenty because I go to CVS and I keep on from there. Eating out is $100, entertainment is $100, and then for our spending allowance, our babies gets $10, my husband gets $50, and I get $50. So our cash envelopes comes to $675, and then for my sinking funds, these are all our little mini savings accounts. I will go over all of these funds in my sinking funds video. Just know that we are setting aside $600 to go towards all those envelopes there. So between my sinking funds, cash envelopes, extra debt, extra savings, and my expenses, all of this comes out to $2,675. So every dollar that we are budgeting for this pay period has been accounted for. Now let's get to our stuffing. So guys, I do want to mention that there's tons of budgeters here on YouTube that use the same method and they stuff actual cash in their binders and they just track as they're spending. They use their card, they swipe it when they make purchases and whether in person or online and then they just track their spending. And then at the end of the pay period, they'll go through each envelope, compare it to their transaction log and then withdraw the cash based off of what they spent and then they take that cash and then they deposit it back into the bank. This way you're using the same cash envelope method based off of what you can physically see is in each envelope and then when it's gone, that's it. But they're still getting their points from their credit cards so that's one option there. That method sounds brilliant 
except for in my case, I'm never able to get into the bank during business hours. I like getting cash dominations specific to what I need. I can never get to the bank during the week, like ever during business hours. That's just never an option for me because I work during those business hours and during my lunch break. I don't really have an option for lunches. So I was trying to figure out a way that this would work for me without having to go to the bank to get the specific denominations that I need for my cash envelopes. And so I figured, why not this option here? So what you see here in front of me is prop money. This is fake, y'all. This is not real. So the purpose of this is to have a visual of the cash that I have in each envelope and then track it based off of visually seeing what's still remaining in there. And I will track it on these transaction logs. So let's see how this would work out. Okay, and then so based off of my budget for groceries, we are gonna stuff $250. Okay, for entertainment, we are stuffing $100. For gas, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5. For my household, that is getting $15. Eating out is getting 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100. And then my spending money, 20, 40, 50. Alea and CJ is, uh-uh. Yeah, jack this up. Oh, I think I just grabbed an extra five of that prop money. And then my babies are getting their $10. Okay, so the concept behind this method here, okay? So I do all of my grocery shopping online. I do the grocery pickup. So how would actual cash benefit me in this scenario? It wouldn't. So I use prop money here. So tomorrow when I get my grocery pickup, I'm going to go ahead and pull 100 and $50 from here, okay? And I'm going to deposit here into this two bank envelope. I'm physically removing the cash from that category. And then I'm going to note it here. It'll say the date. So tomorrow is four, five. Oh my God, what day is it tomorrow? Alexa, what's the date tomorrow? Tomorrow will be Sunday, May 22nd, 2022. Thank you. And I'm gonna put down Walmart pickup and I'm gonna say minus $150. The sheet here goes behind the remaining cash. And now I know for the next 13 days, I have $100 remaining in that grocery envelope budget, okay? Same with all these categories here. I'm gonna have a slip. I'm gonna have these budgeting slips behind each envelope. So that way I'm not having actual cash on me. I'm using this as, essentially I'm using this as a really cute 
checkbook with prop money so that I could see as I'm swiping my card and removing that cash from that envelope and putting it into my to be banked envelope and watching as the money is slowly dwindling from each envelope. That way I know I can see the money actually leaving the envelope and see what I have remaining in it each time that I spend the cash. And then I would take the receipt that I get and stuff it so I have $15 in my household. Let's say I go to CVS tomorrow and I'm gonna spend this $5 here, okay? I'm gonna pull the $5, I'm gonna put it in my, I'm gonna put it in this bank envelope. So I know it's gone, okay? And then, where'd that go? And then I'm gonna note it on here. I'm gonna say CVS, I spent five dollars and the balance is ten dollars i'm going to take my budget sheet and my receipt of what i spent at cvs and i'm going to put it in that envelope there and now at the end of the pay period when i'm tracking my transactions i could see cash in the front here where I spent my money at. And then my receipt here will show me what exactly I bought, if it was like multiple items or whatever. And then I get to scan this into Ibotta for additional rewards. So not only will I get rewards from here, I'm gonna get cash back rewards for my credit card as I am still using the cash envelope method. So I'm gonna try that out here for these next two weeks and I will report back. And if you are trying this as well, if you are a few of my subscribers that came over from Instagram and have asked this as well, let me know if you tried it and if it worked out for you. And yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this cash envelope stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions for me, please post them down below. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.